This episode of the Sports Box is sponsored by DJ Cruz, a.k.a. Anthony Cruz. For all your DJ and event planning needs, call Anthony at 609-513-6395. And mention you saw him on the Sports Box. Well, hi, and welcome to the show that just keeps making you coming back for more. This is the Sports Box. For the only opinion that matters, it's right here. And I am with you. I am Mike Galetta. Oh, A.K.A. Hamilton Mike, along with my partner Brian, the Ranger of Tart, and the special guest to our show again, Anthony Morell. Anthony, easy, <laughs> easy, easy, big guy, easy. Brian, how did Christ start you today? Ah, uh, fantastic, sir. How are you? Ah, uh, I'm just living a dream over here. Now that Anthony just gave me a flex, I'm even, I'm even more sick in my stomach. But anyway, let's get to it. We are going to talk about the 2017 Royal Rumble. It's the 30th anniversary. We're going to kick it off. We're going to talk about some matches, gentlemen. Help me out a little bit with some wrestling. Let's I appreciate do it. that. Mm -hmm. Easy. Uh, anyway, um, let's talk about the first match, Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. Thoughts, guys? So this is a WWE Universal Championship match. The stipulation here is that uh, Kevin Owens' best friend, Chris Jericho, will be suspended above the ring in a shark cage. Yep. Shark cage. This is this is writing today. I'm liking the shark cage. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, to taking a page out of NXT's book. Correct. So this was I done. I mentioned that already. Yes, this was done in NXT. The Authors of Pain, uh, Paul Ellering, was ab suspended above the ring. Dropped something to them, they, you know, all that then and there. So, probably, I guess, a similar. Do you um, see something? I was going to ask that. I, I probably think this is a kind of similar ending, okay. but I think. So, I don't know how you feel about this. In my opinion, Roman Reigns wins this match. Yep, absolutely. I think Roman Reigns wins the championship here. I don't want him to win the championship here, but he's going to win the championship here. And I think that that puts, you know, Owens and Jericho on, uh, on a path to face each other at WrestleMania for Jericho's newly established, newly won. Uh, United States Championship, but um, do you see anything that would differentiate from that? No, absolutely not. I, I see something happening. Jericho somehow finds a way to screw it up for Kevin Owens. Yes. There goes their long-standing friendship. I think Roman Reigns does become the third time, well, first time Universal Champion, but his third heavyweight championship. Mm -hmm. um, and then he kind of sails off to WrestleMania to face the winner of the Royal Rumble. Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, that leads to a match with them two at Royal Rumble. Um, now, I don't think there's going to be any surprises in this one at all. I think Kevin Owens isn't a main event guy. He's, you're not going to see a main, main event at WrestleMania ever. I think it's one of the few things, I know you're going to hate me for this, but that Vince McMahon actually got right. He didn't really, he always kind of, well, you hear rumors that he doesn't see Kevin Owens as a main event guy, and I, 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 I agree with him there. I disagree there. I actually think he's there. he's he's up there with the most talented guys, uh, to, start to finish, full full package in, in the business. But you know what this match reminds me a lot of? What? Uh, leading up into WrestleMania 29, um, when you had CM Punk versus The mm -hmm. Rock for the championship. You were going there. And The Rock won the championship, and you knew that it was setting up a match at WrestleMania that CM Punk was not going to be in that match, that it was going to be The Rock defending against whoever won the Royal Rumble. It was Cena that year. It set up Rock Cena, too. It's Vince's way of getting sure. who he doesn't like out of the main event at WrestleMania. What I, where I will agree with you is I don't believe that Kevin Owens right now could be a main eventer at WrestleMania, so I understand that. Where I disagree with the idea here is I don't think Roman Reigns is either, and he's done it no. a couple times now. Right. But I don't, I don't know. I, I definitely think, though, that Mike, I think Reigns wins this match, to, to my chagrin. Okay, well, let's get to the second match. AJ Styles versus John Cena. This is for the WWE Championship. Guys, thoughts? What do you think about that match? I'm going with John Cena in this one. I think John Cena is the main event, or one of the main event stars in the WWE. I think you're going to see him take on a very, and we'll get to this later, a very long-standing um, main eventer in in wrestling, and I will give you my Royal Rumble pick later in the show. So stay tuned. I love the main eventer. That's great. Yeah, That's true. It's only vote the main event. Box. That's we, great. we got a lot of wrestling. We, we do. It's a main event show. That's right. I just trip over myself, and you guys throw out new works. Straight. I love it. So yeah, Cena wins this one. Um, AJ Styles drops the belt, setting himself up for a match at WrestleMania with. Well, we don't know yet. So the interesting thing about this match to me is I think that this match has more of an impact on who wins the Rumble than the Kevin owens Roman yep. Reigns match what does. Because I think that Reigns, it's a fait accompli. I think he's going to win that match. Cena versus Styles is going to be very interesting to me because really, you know, again, they're trying to build towards a really massive show at WrestleMania. I don't know how they view AJ Styles just yet. If you rewind this calendar exactly. 12 months to WrestleMania uh, 32, Styles was, was in a tag team match. Was, no, I'm sorry. Styles was in a, a match with Chris Jericho. 
you know, not really promoted overly well. It was just a match that was on the show and nothing really going on there. I apologize for the, the mess up there. So I think that, I think I know where you're going with, with, with the uh, the reference there, but um, I think if AJ Styles wins this match, that has an impact on who wins the Royal Rumble or who doesn't. You can't have AJ Styles as the main event at WrestleMania. It's too fast of a, of a rise for him. I don't disagree with you, but if AJ Styles still has the belt, does it have to be the main event of WrestleMania? And I say that right. because at WrestleMania 28... But we don't know. Right. At 28 in Florida, CM Punk was the champion, took on Chris Jericho in the championship match. That wasn't the main event. Rock Cena 1 was the main event. So I think it kind of gives you an idea which way they're going to go. I don't disagree with you that I don't think you could put AJ Styles at his second WrestleMania as the main event of WrestleMania. I think if Styles wins this, I think that you probably see Goldberg and Brock Lesnar in the main event of WrestleMania. Dun, dun, dun. Right? I agree. So... Who's my pick to win the match? I do think Cena wins here. Mm -hmm. I do think Cena wins this year and to set up something for the for WrestleMania. John Cena becomes a 16-time world champion, tying. Woo! Ric Flair. That would be the Ric Flair. Who is on the Atlanta Falcons, right Falcons bandwagon? Yes. Case, by the way, um, and the last match we're going to discuss today is Charlotte Flair versus Bailey. That is the WWE Raw Women's Championship match, guys. Let's talk about the women. So, and we talked about this a little bit back when we uh, discussed a couple recent pay-per-views that, you know, the Charlotte Flair versus Sasha Banks thing, it felt like a hot potato going back and forth yes. with the title. Uh, it looks like Sasha's coming out of that picture and kind of having her own thing with Nia Jax. Um, as of the filming of the show, they had not yet named a SmackDown uh, championship yep. match for the women, so nothing to analyze there as of yet, although I, it, you probably imagine it's Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch, but mm -hmm. that's my speculation. Uh, but again, you know, this is going to be a really good match, I think, and I do think that Charlotte retains. But this is Bailey's first true championship match in the spotlight. Um, they're trying to build Bailey up. I mean, like a female John Cena was like the, the shtick back right. in the day. Mm -hmm. um, Charlotte can't lose a pay-per-view so far. Yeah, she's not going to. I think Charlotte retains. You'll see Sasha Banks come back into the picture. I think they needed to, like Brian said, get away from that for a little while because the hot potato was getting old. Um, I think this at least puts Bailey into the spotlight and gives her some credibility. But she's not ready yet. She just came up, and although she's beaten Flair or Charlotte, I guess I can't really call her Flair. Uh -huh. She's beaten Charlotte, um, what three times now? She's three and zero against so. her. Yeah, uh, that actually will end at the Royal Rumble. You probably could call her Flair, but you probably get some copyright suing. Yeah, going on, but you know. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah. I mean, Charlotte, we'll just keep it Charlotte. As, as far as the title goes with the hot potato, I mean, do, do you feel that the Sasha Banks, Charlotte Flair, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, Charlotte wins Charlotte wins a pay-per-view, Sasha wins at Raw. Do you think that it cheapens the title at all to have it go back and forth that quickly? A little bit. I kind of equate it to Peyton Manning and Tom Brady in the AFC Championship game every year. You know what I mean? You, you, saw, you see one of them in the AFC Championship game or the Super Bowl every single year. So, yes, but no. I like that analogy. It's very good. Yeah, not bad. I brought football into it. See that? Always, always good to do that here. <laughs> we, we try to cross promote. So. Hey, and, and and lastly, we'll talk about the Royal Rumble. Hey, the main event, um, guys. Who would you like to see win this mm. match? And that's going to be a follow up question after that. But Anthony, we'll start with you. I want to see either. I'll, I'll give you a while. I want to see Seth Rollins win it because okay. he he came back from a, a nasty injury. I want to see him back in the title in the title mix because he is that damn good. Mm -hmm. To steal a line from Triple H. Yeah, damn. And Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah. And, um, oh, by the way, he's got, you can't he see the shirt. He's, he's not a fan of it. He's <laughs> so, I do want to see Seth Rollins win it. I wouldn't I wouldn't hate it if Finn Balor came from out of nowhere and won the Royal Rumble as well. That's my pick. If, if, I, if, I get to, if I get to hand pick a winner of the Rumble, and again, this goes to how the championship matches uh, happened before it. So... Mm -hmm. If Roman Reigns wins his match and AJ Styles wins his match, then I absolutely agree. I would love to see Finn Balor win. Mm -hmm. I would love to see a program, Reigns versus Balor, where really Reigns can finally really play a heel. And, I don't, yes. and as much as the fans keep pushing for that, he's never really been in a situation where he can do that. And I think if you see Reigns kind of have a bit of a turn here, I think it's better for his character, for one. But I think that it would lead to, again, a face at WrestleMania who, who would win the Rumble here to take him on at WrestleMania. Finn Balor would be a great option. If Reigns uh, wins, uh, John Cena wins, then who would I like to see win to take on John Cena? I would like to see The Undertaker. I think that's a match that we've all been waiting for for quite some time. It makes a lot of sense. Um, but again, 
again, a lot of a lot of writing in WWE, as we all know, way too much. Doesn't make that much sense. So the follow up question to that is, guys, I have now, and think about this: Who do you think will win, and why? Okay, Brian, start it off. Who do I think will win the Rumble? Who do I? Let me say, wait, hold on. Who do I think? Yes. Who do I think yes. will win the Rumble? That's what I said. So yeah. I have very little faith in WWE writing. Um, I happen to know that Vince has a fetish for the you know the large men, uh, <laughs> at least in the ring. I don't know. Oh. Um, something tells me, and I hate this. Is this PG. Um, no, it's, it's, Mike sometimes drops f bombs. I do. Okay, so it's it's fine. Something tells me they're going to find a way to put a win in the Royal Rumble column for Braun Strowman. Mm. I hate that. I, mm. I think it makes absolutely no sense. I think if right you go Ra Strowman. Reigns versus uh, uh, Braun Strowman, so. that's a that's a redux of, of Orton Batista at WrestleMania 30. Nobody wants to see that match, and nobody cares. But I do think they're pushing it right now. I think they're trying to build. Um, Strowman up, so I think I think Strowman is the winner, pending a couple of things that happen. Um, I have some other dark horses, but I, I, to me, I think it's leaning that direction. Real fast, do you think if they if if it is Strowman, does he get to WrestleMania main event? Still the number one contender. I think it depends on fan reaction. I think it depends on exactly what happened in, in, in the lead up to WrestleMania 30. Because, again, that was supposed to be Orton Batista. Yeah. There was nothing. In fact, that was actually supposed to, it was supposed to be CM Punk and Triple H. Obviously, we know what happened there. Um, you know, they, they really kind of put Brian in that match because they realized very quickly nobody really cared to see Randy Orton and Batista fight at the main event of WrestleMania 30. Nah. So, you know. Awful. Right. So, from that standpoint, I don't think Strowman makes a lot of sense, personally, from longer-term booking, but I could totally see it happen. I also think it's too soon to have um, Braun Strowman in there. I'm going to say Batista. Oh, to have Braun Strowman in there, uh, he's another one that kind of just came onto the scene and is actually making some waves. He just had a few with Sami Zayn. Like, I don't think they're going to put him in the main events that quickly at WrestleMania. I think if you give it a year and you build him up even more and he has some matches against some better talent, sure, but... I, I get where you're going with it, but too soon. To your Again. point, to your point about that though, I agree that it's too soon. But if you look at the way they've been booking Raw lately, not too long ago you saw in the ring all at one time, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Braun Strowman. Right. So it's like they're trying to elevate him into that discussion to make something like this make some sense. Um, I hate to see it happen, frankly. I, at I, least I don't if, like it. At least if Braun loses, he has the bread route to fall back on. I mean, that's that's always a good thing. <laughs> anyway, guys, the last thing we have is the is your favorite Royal Rumble moment. Favorite Rumble moment. You're Before pointing. we do that, you're pointing. Yes, I'm pointing. Go ahead. Because I want to give you my pick. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I think the Undertaker wins. I do. I think um, this sets up his final match WrestleMania, mm -hmm. and he goes out. He loses to John Cena. Mm -hmm. Or no, it wouldn't. Yeah, it would be Cena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't smash. Uh, assuming Cena wins the title. Yes. Yep. Assuming Cena wins the title. Mm -hmm. And then that's their match at WrestleMania, which we did talk about in the, in the last episode as a potential match. Mm -hmm. We just didn't think it would be the main event. Can I give you a Can I give you a nightmare scenario with mm -hmm. that? So a nightmare scenario is you're right that Undertaker does win the Rumble and Roman Reigns wins the belt, and then you have Roman Reigns in the Undertaker's career because that's what uh, WWE wants to do is push Roman Reigns. Because technically, and I understand, Undertaker came back to SmackDown, mm -hmm. but he's been on Raw. Yes, you're right. So if he goes oh, back right. to win the univer to go for the Universal Championship. If it's Reigns, God, I, I mean, I don't think, uh, if Roman Reigns beats The Undertaker, that's just, n n no way to. So, to repeat the question, Let's go. Your, your favorite Royal Rumble moment, Brian, we'll start All with time? You. All time. All time. Um, my honorable mention is The Undertaker versus Yokozuna no, in, the cas mention. in the casket match, but favorite. it wasn't a Royal Rumble match, no, it was at the Royal Rumble, okay. great, with the casket match there and how that ended. Um, however, same show is my all-time favorite moment, which is Bret Hart and Lex Luger uh, going over the top at the exact same time, which I'm sure takes a lot of practice to get them to land at exactly the same time in an era of instant replay. Mm -hmm. uh, and it set up, obviously, you know, a WrestleMania 10 that was just a fantastic setup of events where you had Bret Hart versus Owen Hart in an early match, uh, Lex Luger versus Yokozuna for the title, where the winner mm -hmm. faced Bret Hart. Was it just a Weaves very much well, you know, throughout WrestleMania 10, of course, Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels for the IC title ladder match. Is this multiple moments I'm talking about? No, no, this is where, where it built okay. into. I'm sorry. For me... One of the greatest matches of all, that, all time. Yeah, that ending, I think, was one of my favorite moments. Gotcha. Especially growing up. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. For me, it would have to be... Um, 
honorable mention, I'll go with Stone Cold winning the first time. And then, but my favorite moment, and I vaguely remember it when I was young, but I remember even more so watching it now. It on the WWE Network for only nine ninety nine. Yeah, there you go. There's a plug. So, Shawn Michaels, when he won the first, his first Royal Rumble, he had British Bulldog eliminated. Or, I'm sorry, British Bulldog had eliminated him. Yes. His both feet did not touch. He gets back in while Bulldog is on the is on the turnbuckle. There goes Bulldog. Shawn Michaels goes to WrestleMania. WrestleMania 12 mm -hmm. for the belt. Iron and the Man Iron Man match. match. Yeah. It was just perfectly sequenced. Don't you miss that writing? I do. God, I miss it. I miss that writing. Well, I want to thank you guys for, especially Anthony, for coming on the show. Help us out with it. I love it. You don't want to thank me? Not really, because I always see you all the time. So, anyway. Um, that, guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We always got good stuff coming. Absolutely. Uh, we want to thank all of our subscribers. We can't thank you guys enough. Over 500 at, at the time of filming today. Thank you guys so, so very much. Yep. Uh, make sure you're watching all of our content. And the best way to find it is through our social media outlets. Uh, we're on Facebook at Sportsbox Show. We're on Twitter at Sportsbox Show. And the YouTube channel, as I said, if you haven't yet subscribed, you're going to see a Sportsbox logo come up right about where Ant's face is right now. Yep. Uh, you're able to subscribe right through there. Just push his face. Yeah, that's all. Just hit it. Hit, hit in the face yep. with, it, with a steel chair if you need to. There you go. Um, and go ahead and subscribe to the Sports Box. We can't thank you guys enough, but you know, keep an eye out for us. We're going to have a lot of great content coming out for the rest of the year as well. And you know, uh, th uh, thanks to our sponsor on the show, DJ Cruz. You saw his ad in the beginning. Don't worry about it. Just give him a call. He's a great guy. Um, and and remember, at the Sports Box, the only opinion that matters, Anthony, right here, baby. It's freaking right here. If you hadn't figured that out by now, I don't know what you're thinking. I mean, Ant knows, so should you. Exactly. See it, January 29th. That's it. Well, See you. Don't forget to subscribe.